All right. Well, I'm sitting here. Uh, just got done tumbling two, two, three, whole bunch of it, and uh, the media. Man, I can't wait to go to that stainless steel media. So many primer pockets have been filled up. I mean, for every three I do, there's probably one that has media inside of the primer pockets. So it's kind of uh, frustrating knowing that there's such a more superior uh, product out there that I don't have my hands on yet. <clears throat> but I'm basically just doing a, I have the Ellie Wilson it's the 223, basically. Yeah. Just checking all the brass as I'm going and checking them to make sure that there's no media in the um, primer pockets. Not that it's a huge deal, but it just takes up time. When you're doing it like this, which is good. I mean, I enjoy doing this, but definitely can't wait to get to a, a stainless media that'll last forever which is cool um wet tumbling i think is kind of the way things are going nowadays it seems to get a lot nicer a lot nicer brass like this stuff i just finished and it looks okay but it's nothing to write home about but uh what do you do so put that on my wish list i guess and hope that it Hope someday soon I'll uh, be able to pick that up in a wet tumbler. I know there's a lot of different ways people are out there uh, making their own wet tumblers, using buckets and basically uh, old skateboard wheels and motors. And some people are using wheelbarrow, not wheelbarrows, uh, cement mixers. See, there's another one. So that was one out of four. But it's, um, yeah, it's definitely the way. To go is new technology grows and things get a little bit nicer and better you know maybe it's time to upgrade time to upgrade to something a little bit newer a little cleaner less dusty those are all uh, pluses of uh, running a wet tumbler I guess if you're in an area where you can't use any water but have electricity then maybe that would be the plus to having a dry tumbler but here's another one so let's do it again here let's see let's see what we get all right start fresh oh, right off the bat i got one that's got it in there so right now one for one just grab one all right one and one, one and two, and but other than that, just a quick video, seeing what you guys are using. Maybe you guys got some better deal ideas. I'm using a crushed walnut, I think is what it is. Some type of nut and uh that one has a primer in it still. Here's another one. But I guess it's better than nothing. But it's also, uh, there's another one. A pain in the ass as well. So if you guys are using a wet tumbler, tell me what you guys think. Maybe what models you use. Something, uh, do some more research and figure out what kind of tumbler I want to use. But uh, you guys would definitely help out. That's some of the things I enjoy the most is your guys' comments. Especially a lot of you guys that are experienced, well, uh, veteran reloaders. You know, give us newbies a hand. Tell us the uh, tricks of the trade, as they say. Just to help uh, maybe keep our sanity. <laughs> or... Um, you know, it's always nice to learn from the, the guys that got a lot more knowledge. So you guys take care. Have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. And, of course, as always, is your six covered. Thanks again. Hey, Rusty, what do you want to tell those guys out on YouTube? What? Like, share, and subscribe.
That's a great idea. Good work, buddy. See you guys on the next video. Rusty, tell him goodbye.